I thought I'd give you a 2015 update for what's coming. So I printed these off of files from Thingiverse. Ultimate Nerd Glasses. Except they hurt. As we leave 2014 and head into 2015, I first and foremost want to say thank you. Thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you to all the viewers who have tuned in to see what I've done on this channel. It's been phenomenal. The feedback, the comments, it just, it's overwhelming. And I, I appreciate you guys viewing what I'm doing here. And I hope I can continue to help you as we go forward. I got so many ideas and so many little projects I want to do and show you. It's, I, I'm just really excited for 2015. But most of all, thank you, because it couldn't happen without you guys. So coming in 2015, there's a lot of things I'm working on, and one of them is my book, Beginner's Guide to 3D Printing. Books are how I pay for my printers and the plastics and everything else, and I've wrote like eight books on programming, but this is my first 3D printing book. All my books are really written to help the beginner, help the entry-level person get started, and this book is no different. It talks about the Da Vinci, it talks about just printers in general, what to look at, what to look for. And also, like XYZ wear is covered, Tinkercad is covered, taking the design to Shapeways, you know, take it all the way to a professional 3D print house, and then some tips and tricks along the way. It's only about a 90 page book, so it's an easy read, but that'll come out um, in color version, in black and white, and I'm also going to have an a Amazon ebook version. So It'll all be available on Amazon sometime in 2015, so stay tuned for that. Now, something else that's changed for 2015 is over in this corner, I've brought my electronics lab out here to where my 3D printing is. This is actually a section of my finished off garage, and it's become, it's going to expand even more. I plan to do more with the back wall, so you don't have to look at that ugly garage door, and maybe I could do different video angles and stuff to give you a better production. Um, and also some electronic projects, kind of like that little traffic light that's going on back there. It's 3D printed with some electronics inside. So I've expanded what I can do right here in this area and filmed the whole thing. So I hope to do a little more of that, but 3D printing will still be a key part of what my videos are all about. Now a couple things I've learned that's coming in early 2015, and I've confirmed this by communications with support at xyzprinting.com. I've been getting great response from my emails to them and I don't know if that's because I'm just such a pest to them and I constantly ask them questions and bug them or if this video growth, this, this subscriber growth that's happening at this channel, if they're noticing and they want to answer my questions so I can pass it on to you. So with that, I've learned a couple things. One, PLA cartridges are coming for the Da Vinci and it's supposed to come in early 2015, like January, February is what I was told. So we'll have ABS cartridges and PLA cartridges. They've advertised that for a while it could do PLA. They're finally going to release it is what I've been told. And I, I think that's great. Now what that may do is some people out there have been using those resetters to reset the chip in the cartridge. Some people have reflashed the Da Vinci so they can run better software. I have no problem with that. It's great if you can do that. I think that's a little bit more complicated than it needs to be, especially for a beginner. So I've stuck with the stock, stock software to show that you can get great prints out of this thing. But my fear is that once these PLA cartridges come out, that you got to run the latest software in order to use them. And the resetters, the cartridge resetters, you got to downgrade your firmware. You can't go past 1.1.j, and these things are already at 1.2.3 and, and, and expanding. So you really got to start modifying your firmware. Now, if you reflash the thing like some people do, so you can run Repetier Host or, or some of these third party uh, software then you probably won't have to worry about it. You're probably already printing with PLA because you did your own kind of hack to it. But just know that as soon as you go down that path, you're separating from the stock XYZ. And maybe that's what you want, but I'm trying to stick with the stock stuff. So I'm excited that the PLA cartridges are coming. 
The other thing that really excited me is they had an ebook that they released. They were giving them away free for people who registered their new DaVinci, but they only had a, a certain amount. I registered my DaVinci again trying to get one, and I was too late. So I ended up buying the thing, but there was gold inside that document. It really was just a glorified manual of how to use it, but they mentioned in there about refillable cartridges. So I instantly contacted support. They sent me off to the sales department. I bugged them two and three times. They finally admitted that, yeah, it's coming. Refillable cartridges that you can actually put your own plastic inside of it. Now, I don't know all the details yet. I don't know if it includes a new chip. I don't know if you can use any plastics you want. That I'm not sure because it looks like they're going to have their own plastic that you can buy supposedly cheaper than the uh, cartridges. So then you can refill the cartridges and save a little money. So I think they're doing this in response to people complaining about the cost of the cartridges. So it's great that they're doing this. I just don't know exactly when, but it is coming. They confirmed it's coming and it's in their documentation, so it can't be far off. One other thing that's coming in 2015 is another new printer from them that'll include scanner, dual heads, and Wi-Fi connection, and a few other minor things I think they're adding to it. So you'll be able to print to it via you know, Wi-Fi, connect, no connection, Wi-Fi. And the software, I think, is supposed to get better, but that, that's coming in a new version. Of course, it's going to cost more, but I'm hoping that there's ways to you know, upgrade these things in some way, shape, or form. But the, the 1.0 is still going to be one of my favorite printers. There's no doubt about it, but that's coming. So keep an eye out if you haven't bought a printer yet and you want to get the latest and greatest, that 2.1 is supposed to be coming out in 2015. Another thing I've been looking at is a software called Simplify 3D. This is a third-party software that it's, it works with all 3D printers, and it adds a lot of features. It basically replaces XYZWare in that you can import an STL file, slice it, and send it to the printer. But they've gone and taken all the, the different printers that are out there and reworked their software so it'll send the signal and the files to the different printers so the printers can print. What's really nice about the software is it's got some great features. You can add supports and then remove supports where you don't want it or add supports where you want it. So you can selectively place supports on your print. I, I think that's huge. And then you can also change the density of the supports. Like the bottom, you can have it real rough, but then when it gets close to where you really need strong support, you can make it real fine. Another thing you can do is you can adjust the, the first couple layers so it, it prints flat, so it sticks good like I try to do with my bed, but then prints at a different level on the way up. So you can really adjust the different levels of your whole print to match what you really want, including the fill. You could have the bottom, which could be a real, you know, a 90% fill, and the middle of it a 30% fill. This software allows you to, th to do that. It also has an animation feature, so you can do all these things and then see it print in an animated mode to verify that, you know, this is what you want before you ever waste a bit of plastic and send it to the printer. And they've confirmed for me that it will work, their software will work, with the Da Vinci's, the 1.0, the 2.0, it'll it'll work with them. There's a few features that it has for the, some of the open source printers that don't work on the Da Vinci, like uh, jogging the the head. You can manually jog it X, Y, and Z direction, like you can with the buttons on the front. I'm not sure that's that big of a deal, but that's one of the things I guess the, with the latest software on Da Vinci you can't do. But the Simplify 3D, what's exciting about it to me is it's bringing the high-end software to a low-end printer which is what the MakerBot or the Make Magazine tests were all about. Some of the top rated printers that you know, you're going to spend three thousand dollars for. The hardware wasn't a whole lot different than what DaVinci is but the software that they used was a ton better. And now there's a third-party software that brings those features and more and you can use it with your DaVinci. 
Now it's not cheap. It's $140 for this software. But I figure I save the money on my DaVinci's. So even if I spend the 140 bucks, I'm still well under where the high price printers are and hopefully I can get great results. So my plan is to get a hold of a copy of that Simplify 3D, do some evaluation and let you guys know how well it works. It won't be at the heart of everything I do because I still want to stick to the stock software as much as I can, but that's what I like about it. I don't have to reflash my machine. I don't have to do anything different. And I can run my machine from XYZWare or the Simplify 3D. At least that's what I'm told. So at some point, I'm going to break down, spend the 140 bucks, and start evaluating that and let you guys know how well it works. So that's just some of the things coming in 2015. I got more ideas in my head and it'll evolve over time. I also guarantee you I'm going to be at the Maker Faire in Detroit in July of 2015. I'll be set up there so if you guys are planning ahead and you want to come to the Maker Faire there in Detroit, stop by look me up. So that's it. Uh, thanks again for watching. I do really appreciate it and I'll see you next time.